And how was it like working with uh, Scott Walker and the in the cabinet team that first year? It was interesting in the first year working with Scott Walker. Uh, the administration was very focused on doing what's right. Um, he was easy to work with. He knew I was not interested in playing politics. I was interested in running my agency. And he supported that. He encouraged us to do our jobs and to do them right and not to worry about the politics. That all changed as the recall came around. And uh, things changed quickly. And then it was about um, other things in terms of getting attention and uh, what will play well on a national scene. Um, and all of a sudden we were expected to play much more of a political role. But the first year was very satisfying and I was very proud of what we got done uh, in helping Wisconsin come through this economic crisis. You mentioned this change. Talk, talk to me about when you first noticed that. Uh, I first noticed the change in the administration uh, around the time of the, uh, the official announcement, leading up to the official announcement that the recall was going to take place. And then it was kind of uh, all hands on deck within the administration. Um, we, we, had, we were expected, uh, directed, we had to get a little more political. We had to get more visible. We had to do things that would play well. Uh, with the electorate and so things changed all around the uh, recall election Got it. and after that it changed again uh, when a year or so later um, start, he started talking about and there was chatter about him running for president uh, then that got ramped up to another level and then it became very difficult and frustrating uh, because I didn't think that I was I could be as focused in overseeing financial institutions in Wisconsin and was expected to be much more political. And that didn't sit well. Well, to talk to me, expand a little bit on that being more political. You know, what, what were some examples that you could, or a story that you could share with me? Yeah, I think the best example was uh, when he started talking about merging agencies. And he was talking about merging four agencies, combining them into two, one of them would have been my agency. And I sat with him and I, we talked about it and I said, right now, we are the second most efficient Department of Financial Institutions in the country in terms of overseeing the banking industry, in terms of staffing and expenditures. And how much more efficient do we need to get if we are number two in the entire country right now? Um, and yet, uh, it was, he was already spending some time in Iowa, and it was clear that um, shrinking the number of agencies for the state of Wisconsin might have played well with primary voters in Iowa and elsewhere. It would have had virtually no bearing on economics of Wisconsin, our budget, our spending levels. It would have simply been merging agencies together um, and, and I don't think it would have made any difference in terms of, uh, it would have damaged our, our, my agency. And I said, I don't want to be part of hurting my agency. What do you think uh, the general public needs to know about Scott Walker? I mean, you spent a lot of time with him uh, as an appointee. Was there anything that changed about him personally? Yeah, I, I think it would be helpful for Wisconsinites to know um, Scott Was Walker is very personable. Um, he cares about his future. Um, he cares about his next job. And how things are going to play takes precedent over what's right. And as I said before, that changed. Now that became clear once the recall election and once it was clear that he was getting angling to run for president. And the first year, it, that was not the case. But I think Scott Walker has always been thinking about what's his next political job. And the reason I'm supporting Tony Evers is I don't think that's high on his list. 
I think he's concerned about what Wisconsin needs, what's good for Wisconsin citizens, and has little, if any, interest on, in terms of what's next for Tony. And that's not the case with Scott Walker.